We finally made it! So, this is Tizumi Village. Thank you so much. This area has become so dangerous. I went out to do some shopping for the festival, and all of a sudden I was being chased. I didn't know what was going to become of me. Well, you're lucky we ran into you. Yes, I'm glad you're okay. Thank you so much for helping me. You must be in the middle of traveling, but if you like, you can stay at my home tonight. It's the least I can do in return for saving my life. Oh, you don't have to do that. It would really be rude if you refused. Moroku. It would be nice to sleep in a real bed. Oh, Kagome. Well, if you've decided, then come with me. This is my home. It's not much, but you're welcome to stay here as long as you like. The rest of the highway is blocked anyway. You mean the highway that goes to the castle? Yes, all this heavy rainfall caused a big landslide. So you can't use the highway now. That's unfortunate. We're unlucky. You look pretty happy, though, Moroku. No, not at all. Anyway, are there any girls my age around here? What? Now I get it. That's what I thought. Oh. Hey, Songo, where are you going? If we're going to be here for a while, I'm going to go see if I can find any information about the castle. Is she a demon slayer? She has a demon slayer's weapon. Yes, she is. I see. It's rare to see a demon slayer. Since that incident, we don't see them anymore. Demon slayer? What's that? It is a specially trained person who goes after demons. She lived in the Demon Slayer village. A village? Sounds like the ninjas. Yes. But don't talk about it in front of Songo. Why? Because through trickery, Naraku completely destroyed the Demon Slayer village. 
What happened to Sango's family? Well... The only ones that survived are Songo and her younger brother. Her younger brother was taken by Naraku. Damn! Naraku! I didn't realize. I'm back! Welcome back. So, did you find anything out? No, I couldn't find many people. Well, we can't use the highway now anyway, so we might as well take it easy. Exactly. Well, your beds are ready. Why don't you call it a day and try to get some rest? Thank you so much. Good night. Everybody, should we take the day off today? Wow! It's rare to hear a suggestion from Naroku. Really? Do you think he found a pretty girl nearby? No, it's just such a beautiful day. Huh. No, well... <laughs> Huh, <laughs> you guessed right. <clears throat> so who do you want to travel with today? I'll go with you. Well, I'm gonna train hard. I will too. Well, I think I'll go shopping. Today, Moroku. There's a cold going around, so I think I'll go gather medicinal herbs. Moroku, you're too kind. Always thinking about everybody else. No, no. It's to be expected. Well, let's go. It's such good weather. Yes, it is, Moroku. Would you like to rest here? Sure, why not? It really is good weather. Mm -hmm. Moroku is actually quite handsome. Oh, yes. What? I just remembered I have some sweet bean buns. I can have one? Thank you, Moroku. Yummy. Is it good? Yes, it is. I guess Moroku is basically a good person. And he's good looking, too. I took them from the stone statue we just passed. Huh? You can't do that! Giving something to Buddha is the same thing as giving it to me. Okay. Rather than letting it go bad, it is much more beneficial to take them. Is that right? His actions are kind of dubious. If only he didn't have these shortcomings. must have been really tired. Everyone else got up early and went to gather information and such. They said you should do the same once you woke up. How embarrassing! I better get going!
should I pick? I'll take this one. Tasty-looking child. He's gonna get you! Run away! You're so scared, you can't run. Now you're really still. I'll try to make this as painless as I can. If I don't do anything, he's gonna eat that kid. What can I do? What? Yes, I'm okay. I'm glad. But why didn't you run away? <coughs> oh, a cat. Is it because the cat was here? Yes. I see. That's really kind of you. Really? <laughs> Don't be modest. If it was me, I probably would have run away. That's a cool looking weapon. It's called a Kasari Gama. Can I see it? Wow, it's pretty heavy. Yes, it's a bit different from the usual ones. Really? Why? Um. Oh, sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have asked. Um, are you from here? No, I just got here three days ago. I see. Oh, the cat. I've got to go. Bye. See you later. Okay. Hey, what's your name? It's Kohaku. Here, Songo. Just looking at the flowers. 
These were my brother's favorite. Your brother? I see. I guess everyone told you about my past. Yes. My brother was so kind. He almost didn't belong in Demon Slayer Village. My brother didn't like to fight, but he loved animals and flowers. He must have been a really good brother. I'm gonna stay here a while longer. You go ahead. me about her younger brother. I see. Hiraku took Kohaku so that he could try to control Sango. Hiraku was so evil. So he tried to use Kohaku. What? Did you just say Kohaku? Yes, I did. It couldn't be, but... What happened? This can't be a coincidence. That boy's name was Kohaku too. And he was using the same weapon as Sango. I should ask him. I'm sorry, Kagome, but I have to go do something now. I'm no good at this. I caught one little sparrow today in front of the headman's house. It's not even enough for dinner. Excuse me, can I ask you something? Uh, sure. What is it? Do you know the boy that was here before? His name is Kohaku. The boy playing with the cat? Yeah, I just saw him walking over there. Thank you. And I don't think you can hunt in the city. Oh, that's what I thought. There's the cat that was with Kohaku. I wonder where it's going. sure that cat went in somewhere around here. I couldn't tell from behind that bush, but it looks like there's another road ahead. I see him! There's Kohaku! A cave? Where's he going? went this way. Look what I found! One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <sighs> and I keep on digging, but still no money. Um, excuse me. Whoa! Uh, you scared me! Uh, 
I'm surprised to see someone else on this road. I'm the only one that knows about this secret back road. Back road? Does it go to the castle? Uh-oh. I said too much. That's great! Don't worry, I won't tell anyone else. Okay. Good. If people find out about this road, I won't have the chance to find my pot of gold. Pot of gold? Hmm. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Did you see anyone else pass by here? Nope. Nobody's come through here. Really? He must have gone the other way, then. Do you have a sister named Songo? Huh? Kohaku, capture that girl. Kohaku, are you okay? <laughs> Kohaku, what's wrong? Don't you know it's me? Stop it, Kohaku! Songo? How did you get here? You're useless! You're Kagra! What do you want? Isn't that right? Kohaku's life is in the balance. You! Okay, Kohaku. Hurry up and get her. How dare you, Kagra! I'll never forgive you for this! Don't you get it? If you try to resist, Kohaku loses his life! Kohaku, what should I do? What should I do? If I don't do anything, Kohaku will die! But what do I do? Him. I think he went with Kagra. I see. He's gone. I'm sorry, Sango. No, I'm sorry. But, Sango, how did you get here? A young fisherman told me that you were looking for Kohaku. Oh, right. That fisherman. I heard you went alone, so I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. I couldn't do anything when Kohaku was trying to attack you. He's your brother. Of course you couldn't. But if something had happened to you, I... Sango, please don't worry about it anymore. But why were you here by yourself? Why? Everyone told you about Kohaku. So you must have known that Naraku was using Kohaku. So why did you go by yourself? Well... Don't do things by yourself anymore. We're a team, right? Sango, thank you. That makes me so happy. Let's go back. Everyone's waiting. Oh, yeah! When I was heading this way, I found a road that leads to the castle. Let's go tell everyone, quickly!
were you guys doing all this time? You disappeared so suddenly. We were worried. Even Songo, who went to look for you, didn't come back. Anyway, we're glad you're safe. I'm sorry. Hmm. You look happy. Did something good happen? Not exactly. Why don't you tell me? We don't have any secrets between us. Moroku, behave yourself. Rasongo will be offended. I don't get offended. Of course. I was worried about Songo too. Were you really, Moroku? Yes, I was. Why are you blushing, Songo? I wonder if Songo likes Moroku. <laughs> Moroku, why are you touching me? <laughs> why are they always like that? Sango's gonna get into a bad mood again. I see. Sango was treating me like that because Moroku was giving me so much attention. It's not because she doesn't like me. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. Oh, that's right! I found a road that goes to the castle! Really? Yes! You can get there from a cave on the outskirts of the village. You sure seem enthusiastic. Do I? Well, I had a good day today. Everyone, your beds are ready. Will you be staying the night? Thank you, Densuke. Good night. How about it, Inuyasha? What do you think if we take the day off today? Sounds good. I agree. So who do you want to travel with today? I'll go with you. I'll go for a short walk. Good idea. I'll go too. Well, I think I'll go for a walk. I'll go with you. All right, shall we go? Miroku, what are you going to do today? I'm going to go check on the village people and see if anyone needs help. Would you like to come? You're going to do that on your day off? If that's what you've decided, let's go. Actually, are you hungry? Um, now that you mention it, I am a little. Okay then. Um, could you close your eyes for a minute? Yes, like this? Just like that. Now turn right and go straight. Okay. Stop there and turn around. Like this? Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, what happened? Oh, nothing. Are you the man of the house here? A monk, I see. <clears throat> yes, I am the man of the house. The thing is, there was a very strong demon aura coming from your house. What? It can't be! There's no mistake. My disciple here was attacked by it and started spinning. Ugh. If I don't do an exorcism, something bad will happen. I can't let that happen. What can I do? Leave it to me. I need purifying salt and Konico. Konico? Do you mean money? Yes, the demon aura will be sucked into the money. I will then exercise it, and it will be purified. Now, now, get ready, quickly! I will stay in the house and restrain the demonic aura until you've made the preparation. I understand. I will go prepare everything right away. Please wait here. Naughty expression. 
What am I thinking? Play along. Okay. I can't say no to a smile like that. Did you know that yellow symbolizes prosperity? Color horoscopes, huh? Red is supposed to evoke love. Thank you. In return, this is for you. May you be healthy and have no accidents. <laughs> oh yeah! Sango, what color was it? Was what? That makes the heart bigger. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to give it to someone. To someone? Could it be... Inuyasha! <laughs> Inuyasha? <laughs> Are you leaving already? Yes, thank you. Take care. I can hear the voice of a young woman. A demon! Someone help me! What? Oh, and she's a beautiful woman. You can tell just from the voice? There's no mistake. Let's go. He sure reacts quickly when it comes to women. Whatever. If it's a demon, we gotta fight him. 
Everyone, let's go! <laughs> Travelers, please help me! Of course. I'm here now, so everything's going to be all right. It really is a beautiful woman. Wow, Moroku! Don't waste your time on stupid things. Let's go. It's supposed to happen like that. Get off me! <laughs> Thank you so much. It was because of you that I'm saved. Oh, it's nothing. I don't know what would have become of me if you hadn't saved me. Oh, I know. I'm here now, so everything will be all right. You're so strong. You really are a handsome monk. <laughs> I never get hurt by such small demons. Come on, you're such a flirt. Either way, it looks like there aren't any more demons. We should go. You're right. It's still a ways to the castle. We need to hurry. Wait a minute. I would like to show my appreciation. If you would like, please come to the mansion. Well, thank you very much. We will gladly go with you. Hey, Moroku, why in the world do we need to go to some woman's house? Yeah, no more distractions. Of course. I'll prepare you a delicious meal. Food, huh? Actually, I'm starving. I'll prepare meat and fish and mountain vegetables. There are a lot of demons ahead. If you come, we could at least feed you a good meal. Seems pretty dangerous around here. Maybe it's a good idea if we go to the mansion. It would be scary to part ways here. Yes, I agree. Well, they are inviting us, so it would be rude to refuse. As long as I am here, you don't need to worry about demons. Oh, he sure reacts quickly when it comes to this sort of thing. Wow, that's a lot of food. There's no way I can finish all of this. Me neither. You are such a beautiful woman. Oh, Moroku, such sweet words. I never flatter. Really? Really. He really lays it on, doesn't he? Yeah, really. A monk, huh? Sanko, you broke your chopsticks. Are you mad? It's because of the rope. Oh, it's such a beautiful night. Would you like to go outside, Moroku? Sure, let's go. Hmm. 
They're gone. Hmm. Is he what you would call a ladies' man? Hey, Sango, should we let them go? It doesn't have anything to do with me. Am I the only one that sees that it does? I... I don't care about that monk. Poor Sango. Moroku is such a ladies' man. But why is Moroku taking this dangerous journey to find Naraku? I can understand that he wants to meet a bunch of girls, but... Because it really doesn't seem like he's out to save the world. I guess I haven't told you about the wind tunnel. Wind tunnel? Is that the power that Moroku has? Yes, but it's not exactly a power. It's a curse that was put on his right hand by Naraku. Is that right? Poor guy. But why would Naraku give him the wind tunnel? Doesn't it help him? It's not that simple. As time goes by, the wind tunnel grows. Eventually, it will swallow Moroku up. Does that mean Moroku will die? Yes. I didn't realize what he's been through. It's a curse that was put on his right... It's not that sim... It's a curse that was put on... It's not that... It's a curse that was put on... It's not that... Soon. Yes, soon. I choose the girl with short hair. I'll take the girl with pigtails. What are they talking about? Soon. Yeah, I'll take... What are... It's a curse that was... It's not that... Si Soon. Yeah, I'll take the girl with pigtails. What are... on the wall. I want... Huh? Um... Something's not right about this place. There's something strange written on the wall over there. Strange? Like what? Was somebody bad-mouthing someone on the wall? No. But it's kind of spooky. What are you so scared of, scaredy cat? <laughs> hey, something's weird. This is human blood. Blood? I wonder what happened. I don't know. But there's something going on in this mansion. I'm getting worried about the monk. Yeah. Let's go check on him. Where are you going? We're in the middle of a party. I need to use the bathroom. Yes, I suddenly need to go too. You should go after the party. Use the bathroom after the party? Yes, please just go back to the room. Something is definitely strange. Yes. They're suspicious. They're suspicious? What? Until the master gets the monk's liver, don't let them leave the room. Okay. Kill. Kill. They've transformed! No. This is their true form. They won't get us that easily.
found! Look what I found! Sake? It says Ayakashi Spring Sake. Look what I found! Some female flesh soon. Young girls flesh. Young girls flesh. Young girls? Are they talking about us? It looks like there's something on the other side of all those demons. I don't think we can get over there. Yes, there's too many of them. Maybe we should go back first. Wait, 
We're out of the mansion. You're not thinking of leaving it. No, you can't be. Is this sake? It says... I've heard that this sake is the demon's favorite. We can trick the demons into going somewhere else by using the sake. Good idea. We can't be surrounded by demons here, and it's a good place to put the sake. I agree. Put it here. Huh? I can smell sake, and it's Ayakashi Spring Sake. From over there. I can't wait. I'm going to get some. It looks like it's working. Here they come. Be careful. There's more coming. Keep your eyes peeled. Got it! Brr. 
fight.
The smell's coming from over here. Here comes some more. Just a few more now. Everyone be careful.
together don't stand a chance against me. It's done. Okay, let's go. Now we can go through here. Moroku must be somewhere ahead. Yes, hurry! It really is a nice night. That's Moroku's voice. I think he's just ahead. Please, I'm so lonely. Comfort me. If it's all right with you. What? Moroku! Oh, Moroku. Ah! That dirty monk! <laughs> I've got him now. Wait, Songo. Something's not right. Dirty monk! What are you doing here? Wait, Songo! Something isn't right with Moroku! Girl, why are you here? Where are my guards? If you're talking about your demon guards, we destroyed them all. Why, you? Miroku! You're wasting your time trying to save the monk. He's in a trance right now. You can't do anything because this place is protected by a baron. Moroku, wake up! Wake up! I'll use my Tetsai to break it! No, Inuyasha. If you break the barrier, it could endanger Moroku. Give me your power. It's not that easy. What? Weren't you in a trance? Too bad for you. It can't be. Hey. The barrier disappeared. If there's no barrier, we've got the upper hand. Everyone, let's attack!
fight. Good. Looks like we're victorious. That demon was a challenge because of her ability to use that barrier. Because you distracted the demons, I was able to destroy the crystal which was the source of the barrier. The source of the barrier? You knew all along? I really thought you were in a trance. Were you impressed? Do you love me now? Wait a second. You dirty monk! You don't give up, do you? If only he wasn't such a ladies' man. Poor Songo. I really don't get Moroku. We should go back to Tsutsumi Village. Let's get a good rest and then head for the castle. Good idea. Well, perhaps the village people need help again. I think I'll go check on them. Would you like to go with me? Last time he did something really terrible, so... If you're not coming, I'll go on my own. I'll go with you to make sure you don't do anything weird again. Show me your palms. What? What kind of scandalous thing are you planning on doing today? How can you call me scandalous? I was just going to read your palm. Oh! Moroku, you can read palms? Of course. Fortune-telling is one of a monk's practices. Really? Okay, here. Huh? He's holding my hand so tightly. Is that usual? But his hands are so strong. I feel like he's not just reading my future. But maybe I'm thinking too much. And, huh? Miroku, who are you talking to? I can hear a bunch of girls' voices all of a sudden. If you have a long lifeline, that means... What are you doing, Miroku? Don't try to pick up girls by reading my palm. You guys have rested enough now. Let's go to the castle town. Okay. 